Now we have seen metastomatic tissues which have more than cytoplasm and it is very active. So it is dividing. Okay, after uh, division, so many divisions, it will stop and it will take some specific role and it will stop its division. That type of tissues are known as permanent tissues. Okay, so permanent tissues are divided into simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. So let's once again see, uh, we will see what is known as the permanent tissues. So permanent tissue after some time it will take, they take up a specific role and lose the ability to divide. They will stop division and it will take a specific role. Okay, that type of tissues are known as permanent tissue. Okay, so uh, this process, the process of taking up a permanent shape size and function is known as the differentiation so you have to learn this one what is called differentiation this process the process of taking a permanent shape and size and function is known as differentiation okay so this permanent tissues are divided into two simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue so now we will see three types of different types of simple permanent tissue so, permanent tissue is divided into two, simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. Okay, so in that simple permanent tissue, three categories are there. Parenchyma, colangema and sclerenchyma. Let's see its structure and its function. Okay, so first of all, the simple permanent tissue, we can see different type of simple permanent tissue in a plant cell. So, when we are just, I will show one plant. When we are taking cross section of a plant, just uh, in the lab we will do, um, we will see the structure of cell. What you will do means we will take one stem and we will cut. That is known as a cross section. Okay. Then we will look under the microscope. Compound microscope, we can see cells. So, outermost layer will be parenchyma. So, parenchyma will be the cells are loosely arranged so we can see so many gaps between the cells okay it is loosely arranged it has thin cell walls it has thin cell walls it is live cells it is loosely packed so in between cells we can see intercellular spaces okay the large spaces between the cell so main purpose main function of parenchyma is to give support to the plant and to store food okay so this is thin cell uh, walls thin cell walled cells uh, we can see in parenchyma they are live cells and loosely packed and large spaces we can see in between the cell so main function of parenchyma is to give support to the plant and store food sometimes other they it can see we can see chlorine uh, chloro chloroplast inside that that is known as the chloranchyma. Okay. When the chloroplast is there inside the cell, inside the cell we can see chloroplast. That is known as the chloranchyma. Okay. Sometimes have you observed uh, some water plants like lotus and all lotus and so many other plants are there where that plants will float on the water. So inside the cell we can see some air uh, sacs are there. Air filled spaces are there in between the cell. That the cells are known as the that cells are known as the air and gamma. Okay, air containing parenchyma is known as the air and gamma. So it will help the plants to float on the water. Okay, so chlorophyll containing parenchyma is known as the chlorenchyma. Don't be confused the spellings and don't keep in mind. Okay, so once again I will tell parenchyma we can see. In the outer layer of a plants uh, if you are taking plant section plants uh, stem section the outermost layer we can see parenchyma it is thin cell walls live cells it is live live cells loosely packed large spaces between the cells we can see so when you are studying the different types of simple permanent issue compare and study okay so it will be easy for you to study so next one is colon chyma. It is not chlorine chyma. This is colon. Colon chyma. Okay. 
So in, in this plants, when a storm wind is coming, this plant will bend like this, right? So, but it is not breaking. It is not breaking like this. So this flexibility is uh, the, for the plants is getting by the tissues known as colangema. So the main purpose of the plants, uh, uh, the colangema is that to give flexibility to the plant. Okay. Then, so uh, if the colangema is there, the plants can easily bend and also give mechanical support. So uh, the characteristics of colangema is that it will give flexibility to the plants. It is uh, helping the easy bending and mechanical support. So when we see colangema, we can see these are the cells. Okay, in between the gaps, we can. It is little thick thread. It is not like paragema. The walls are thickened. Okay, so we can see less intracellular spaces. Why in the case of parangema, more intracellular spaces are there. But in the case of colangema, little only we can see. Uh, intracellular spaces will be less. So and the uh, cell walls are little more thick compared to parangema. Okay, so this will give the plant mechanical support and it helps in the easy bending and it will give flexibility to the plants. I hope it is clear to you. Next one, third one is sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma. So, we can see, I will show you one thing. What is this coconut, right? So, what is this? This is known as the husk. Husk of coconut. So, what? This is very hard and uh, it is very dry also. Very thick, hard and dry. So, this type of, this is made by the cells. The tissue known as Sclerenchyma. Okay. So when you see this one under the microscope, we can see this is a elongated, enlarged structure, elongated structure. And this uh, cell wall is composed of a thick substance known as the lignin. It's known as the lignin. It is a hard substance. It is very difficult to digest. That is known as the lignin. L-I-G-N-I-N. Lignin. So the plant, hard part of the plant is made up of this sclerenchyma tissues. So plant hard and it will make the plant hard and stiff and also example is coconut husk. So the cells, so when you see in the cell, the spaces will, there will not be any space in between the cells. The, and one more important thing is that these cells are dead. Okay, a bipanagema, it is live cell. The sphere and uh, the colangema also live, but sphere and gamma are dead cells. Okay, the cells are dead and no internal space in between. When you see the cells, the, the space between the intracellular spaces are absent, they are compactly arranged. So, I hope it is clear. So, once again, I will tell simple permanent tissue is divided into three parangema, colangema, and sclerangema. Parangema, these are thin cell walls, it is live cells, loosely packed and large spaces in between the cells. Yeah, the function of the parangema is to give support to the plant and to store food. So two types of parangema are chlorangema, which contain chloroplast, which helps in the photosynthesis. Okay, then our next one is aerangema, which contain air sacs, which helps in the uh, floating plants. For the floating plants, it is very useful. Air and kaima. Next one is corn and kaima. It will give flexibility for plants. It helps in bending and mechanical support. And so, if you see the cell, the cell walls are little more thick and uh, spaces are little compared to parangema. Third one is clear and kaima. The plant hard and stiff. It, it, uh, the clear and kaima will make the plant Hard and stiff. Example is coconut husk. Cells are dead. These cells are dead and no internal space between that. The cell wall containing a substance known as the lignin. Once again, I will show coconut husk. These are known as the coconut husk. So this is made up of sclerangema cells, sclerangema tissues. So I hope this is clear to you.